Columbus leading by one in game five. One sixteen left to go. It's so fitting that this game would come down, this series would come down the last minute 16. Possession of the basketball is so important right here. Long Beach needs a stop. But what Columbus needs is execution. They need something penetrating to the basket. Here comes the quest. Still, they're trying to free Katie Smith. She draws the contact and strong enough to get the finish. And look at the reaction. Seven of Edwards' nine points have come in this quarter. She's now in double figures with 10. A four point game. Patience. is going to have to consider fouling here now. And there's the foul by Wilkerson putting Katie Smith to the line. against all odds for the Columbus Quest to defend their ABL championship title. The Stingray said there was no way the Quest could win three in a row. They are trying to do it tonight. No timeouts remain for either team. Columbus leads by three. Just over 33 seconds left in the game. Edwards. Here comes the double team, the triple team, and Edwards is fouled. Stay with us at the conclusion of this game. We'll have the presentation of the ABL championship trophy. And right now, it is still up in the air. Shannon Johnson stepped up her play, particularly on the defensive end. Great pressure on the ball. Mara McHugh substituting situationally right now, electing to get Lacey back in the game for offense. Edwards, these free throws, or this free throw is clutch. foul away from the ball. 
Sanja Tate's going to pick up the foul, and that is not a good decision. It's not a smart play. You certainly don't want to stop the clock in this situation. And put Clarissa Davis Reitzel, who's been clutched the second half, on the line. Brian Angler has put all five starters back into the game as Andrea Lloyd checks back in. Yolanda Griffith, Beverly Williams, coming out of the game for Long Beach, Trisha Stafford and Nisa Johnson into the game. Well, Long Beach looking to knock down these free throws. They have got the foul right away. They've got them. We're going to look for the steal, but they don't have time. They've got the foul. And with neither team having timeout, stopping the clock gives both coaches, particularly Maura McHugh right now, a chance to substitute situationally and get offense and defense on the floor. A new ABL playoff record, 36 points for Clarissa davis Wrightsville, And quickly, Katie Smith is fouled. Columbus to the line. And the crowd is chanting, Katie, Katie. Free throws again, clutch. It's a three-point game with 20 seconds on the clock. Katie Smith grew up in nearby Logan, Ohio, played her college basketball at Ohio State, had never won a title, although she made it to the championship game, won her first title last year with the Quest, hoping to repeat. That's a big free throw right there, because now it's a two-possession game. The Columbus wants to make this one and go back down without fouling, but Long Beach has got to attack the basket quickly. 19 points for Smith. Wilkerson. Williams. She needs room. Has it tipped. And Valerie still is fouled.
The 1998 ABL Championship Trophy is headed to the Columbus Quest. 86-81 winners over the Long Beach Stingrays. They were the best team all season long. They proved it every single night they stepped on the floor. And to come back being down 0-2 and to win this thing is a tribute to their hard work, their preparation, and their coach, Brian Agler. Let's send it over to our Heather Cox for the trophy presentation. Heather? The Columbus Quest are the 1998 ABL champions. And now for the presentation of the championship trophy, ABL co-founder Steve Hamm. Brian, congratulations on your second consecutive exceptional year. The, you had the best regular season record, 25 straight wins. And now you've beaten a terrific Long Beach team for your second consecutive ABL championship. On behalf of the other two ABL co-founders, Ann Cribs and Gary Cavalli, I'd like to present you with the 1998 ABL championship trophy. Thank you, Steve. I just want to say this. Never in the history has there ever been a better group of competitors. <laughs> or a better group that's ever played as a team. The Columbus Quest, we got twins. Coach Agler, you have proved without a doubt that it is impossible to win in Battelle Hall for any team tell Hall is impossible to walk away with a win. Yeah, baby! Let's get there. I don't take anything for granted, but I do know that there was a remark said about seven days ago that no one feared Battelle Hall. They closed down the Boston Garden in 95, and maybe we have a few leprechauns in here. Coach, it seems that you have five, six, seven MVP players on this team. How comforting is it for you to know that any time, with any given doubt, any player is going to step up on this team? We've, we've got the ultimate team. I mean, we can count on all 11 people. All 11 have come through for us one time or another this year. We've just got a tremendous team. And stepping up big time, the most valuable player of the championship series, Valerie Still, for the second year in a row, MVP of the series. Congratulations on an incredible performance tonight. Uh, thanks. I'm, I'm speechless right now. Uh, I would like to, uh, I don't even know what to say. We, we won two. Um, you know, MVP isn't fair because there's 11 people right here. We all deserve it. We worked hard this year. Talking to your teammates all week, they said you are the emotional spark plug and leader for this team. What did it take to rev up the troops tonight? Uh, <laughs> it took lo losing in Long Beach twice to bring us back to reality. And uh, we love it here. We love our fans. You guys have been great. Thanks. Valerie still on the entire Columbus Quest. Congratulations. They were down 0-2. It took five, bank, five games, but they came back. The Columbus Quest are the 1998 ABL champions.